Hello everyone and welcome back to Real Living and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we have a ton of cleaning motivation. I had to clean everything in my whole house. Every single room needed something to be cleaned in it. So we took care of everything. We've got a ton of rooms that we got to take care of. We also have some big plans for the next video as well, but we'll get more into that later on in the video. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button and comment when you like something and let me know how it is and let's get to this video and let's get motivated. You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I Person who understands all the clockwork of our romance You make me feel so alive Always there in my mind So we started off in the kitchen. Well, I should say my husband Joe started off in the kitchen. I actually had to run to my in-law's house and pick up both of the kids. They had stayed the weekend over there. So I left to go pick up the kids and Joe started in the kitchen and he started cleaning the uh, dishes, which we didn't have too many. So he was able to get the dishes done and he started on the stove and then I got home and I finished up. But I just don't know, I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on, if you're gonna be moving on solo. Second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. Reach out to me. Had just gotten home with the kids and gotten them settled back in and taking care of that stuff and so I wanted to go ahead and take over for Joe he had gotten the dishes done the uh, grates on the stove done and a lot of the big bulky garbage uh, trash or like the boxes out of the kitchen so I was able to take over and just finish up the stove the counters and I went ahead and swept and mopped the floors as well my soul now I found my true home I just don't know I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on if you're gonna be moving on solo wait a second cuz they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me
Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine. Ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile in the park. How could they say I was broken? They say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them To be cool, even wear that shirt you wanted to My friends think I'm lame, since I met you I am not the same It was not meant to, be a fairy tale with a happy end Girl you take care now, I hope we can be friends Trustin's room really wasn't too bad. I just really needed to get his laundry put away, go ahead and make his bed and tidy up in there. Um, here oh, recently, I have received quite a bit of comments about his bedroom being kind of cramped and cluttered. And I have to say, me and my husband both agree with all of your comments that it's very cluttered. But we want to go ahead and let y'all know that we're taking some of y'all's advice and we're going to go ahead and change his whole room around. And we've got some big plans for it. And that's going to be in the next video. So make sure to tune in for that one. How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. Oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me? Come up done Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends You are nothing like them Unlike my friends You are nothing like them How'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two Hope you're fine, ain't got time I'm not broken, not broken, not broken How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them the next room is Jennifer's room my daughter uh, again with her room it really wasn't too much I just had to tidy make her bed and then do the laundry of course the laundry but um, we will not be moving her room around she's actually been really liking her room this way she's actually been cleaning and tidying it pretty often and she doesn't really give us any problem when we ask her to do so so we're going to keep her room like this, but like I said, I just had to get in here and just tidy up a little bit and make sure that I put her laundry away, and I went ahead and made her bed for her, even though it wasn't too bad. <laughs> I'm in love with all your lights and your colors I'm in love with all your nights But you've kept me far away from my focus And to my heart I cannot lie Stars 
pretty messy again with the laundry it honestly feels like laundry is never ever done in this house I'm either washing clothes or I'm washing towels or I'm washing bed linens which I did do in here I had to get the bed linens washed so I did that I am I put the laundry away I had to clean up the desk area and just tidy up everything go ahead and dust a little bit get the um, nightstand cleaned up and vacuum in here and that took uh, probably pretty much all day because I had to stop in the middle of it and also go pick my kids up from school. And then I finished up because I started about 11 o'clock. So it took me all day to get this room finished with all the breaks that I had to take in between because of the kids. Sun, warming sun and my life's just begun. Sun under the sun. I'll be fine and you'll be gone when nothing's like home. So much more than this So where do you go When nothing's like home Suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy About everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy
this blanket here. Joe actually got me this as a surprise on Amazon. He actually thought originally that it was covered with a big rose, but it turns out that it was actually a giant skull. <laughs> and I actually really like this blanket. I think it's really neat looking, but I want to know how many of you can see the skull. Leave me a comment down below. Do you see a skull or do you see roses? Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder. I wanna love out loud. Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder. Love a little louder. Love a little louder. Love a little louder. Love a little louder. able to get to was my living room I actually started off with the fan because I like to start top to bottom and I knew I needed to get to dusting but this fan never gets turned off for one it's too high up for me to even really pay attention to so I'm too short to notice how dirty it gets but we don't like still air so we always have every fan on in the house on usually at all times so it's not often they get shut off and then I'm realize oh those fans are really bad they need to get cleaned so I looked up and I saw a little bit of dust cobweb and I was like okay that's my sign I need to get this fan cleaned so I started with that and then I went around and I dusted all of the pictures and also the entertainment center but it feels like you're the one who saves me When I try, but don't succeed Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me
It's not much, but it's all I have You know we could run to a place where we belong But I need you there with me to go on Sometimes I On the little table over by the kitchen, I don't know if you noticed in the before shot, we have a little tiny six gallon tank that is sitting over there. It is a temporary tank. It actually has a couple of algae eating fish in it and they're brand new fish. So they're in a quarantine tank right now, but um, they are planned to go into the community tank because for some reason, we're having a hard time controlling the algae production in that tank. So we figured maybe if we get a couple of algae eaters, they're going to work out pretty good. One is a uh, red tail shark, but it's actually closer related to a catfish. And then the other one is a golden algae eater. That one will end up getting a little bit too big for the tank and it will become an little bit more of an aggressive fish but for starters is a good one to start out in this tank just to get it big enough because with all the algae that is in the tank it'll grow pretty quickly and then we'll be able to move it to a different tank so that is the last time hopefully we're ever going to see that community tank being green so we have that sitting over there and at this point I was getting all of the um, towels and all of the stuff tidied up and ready so that I could go ahead and sweep and mop the living room area. This little hallway that I'm in is actually um, another main entry to the house. I have three main entries to the house. I have the blue hallway, I have this hallway, and then I have a sliding glass door. The sliding glass door doesn't tend to bring in as much dirt and debris as the other two doors. But at this point, we had started uh, doing the moving around and rearranging of Trustin's room. So we were using this door pretty often. So all of this dirt just got built up between the rug and just getting tracked in between us going in and out, the dogs going in and out, us carrying things in and out. It just got really bad. So that's why there's so much sand in that area and then I had to sweep the rest of it. So that's why. <laughs> You only when you're ballin' Oh no I don't even care to doubt I see you in a while Cause this time I will choose you, yeah Now choose You know exactly how to look like this Holding in a bag full of goods and needs I need a night like this Knowing it's a risk cause you're using it You got all your
this hallway is usually pretty bad when it comes to the animal hair buildup. This one doesn't really get as much sand as the other hallway got, but the amount of dog hair and just dust that will build up in this hallway if I don't keep up on it is kind of ridiculous. It, uh, I have to take care of this hallway at least once a week, and if I don't, this is what happens. This is about two weeks of me neglecting this hallway because I've been busy with a bunch of other things. The past couple of weeks have been pretty busy when it comes to either the videos that I've been putting out or just life in general. I mean, taking care of the kids and the household. Sometimes things just get neglected, and this hallway was one of them. So I really needed to get in here. I needed to get all of the chair molding wiped down and I wanted to get all the dust and dog hair out of here and I needed to get it mopped. If you look at the mop at the end, this is just the hallway. That's pretty bad for just two weeks. But I can't help to fall for you repeatedly. I'm on the Told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of our romance. You make me feel so If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me really wasn't too bad since we did just do a huge makeover on it and a huge overhaul. It really hasn't built up too much dirt and dust yet, but I wanted to go ahead and get in here and go ahead and just wipe, go ahead and wipe it down and get the shower wiped down. And I usually clean the toilet every couple days at least. So it usually doesn't get too bad, but I wanted to get the bottom of the toilet this time. And um, I've had a ton of comments on different things that I can do for the vanity that just kind of puts off in the whole bathroom vibe. So um, a lot of those comments are really, really good ideas. And now it's just up to Joe and I to decide which idea we're going to take. We've had ideas from painting it to vinyl to um, just the overlay uh, adhesives. We've had a ton of ideas come at us and we just need to figure out which one's gonna work for us financially, which one's gonna look the best and uh, just which one's gonna be the easiest. And we will definitely keep you all updated on that one. Your eyes have got this in a battle. You're good. 
I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. You guys have been so awesome with the comments here lately. Um, and also, don't forget to log back in and check me out next week when we rearrange Tristan's room. It is going to be so much nicer to not have to worry about the clutter and how I'm going to move around in that room. So yeah, don't forget to come back next week and see that. And I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching.